coming back on campus. It felt like coming home. Everyone was excited, even the first night, the first opening reception. The noise level and the energy in the room was completely off the charts. It really was like seeing family again. And you can sense that people were really looking forward to coming back. When they come back for module four, the first reaction is nostalgia. They know this is the end of the program. So they're actually even hungrier to learn. We continue sort of with what we do with a lot of sort of interesting new material, new ways of teaching, more experiential, more about them. So I'm teaching strategy, but I get lots of concerns about, but what about finance? What about marketing? What about accounting? We now talk about how technology, for example, changing businesses, how different countries operate. I have a series of three sessions on China. I then also do a section of material on nonprofits. And in the last week, we re-emphasize a lot about leadership. To be an effective leader, you need to understand how to use yourself as an instrument to manage all those relationships so that you actually can be focused on what you need to help your business be successful. For the participants, it's also about having more introspection. The Your Case Study exercise is a big piece of that because they have to present the problems they're going to be faced with when they go back to their living group and to a faculty member and they have to really think hard about how I'm going to use the lessons from what I just learned when I go back. Well, a wiser man than me once said a non-contemplative life is not worth living. A program like ours which takes you away and brings you together with other very successful people asking probing questions, we find that it's transformative of how they think about their role as a business leader going forward and their responsibilities to that effect. I hope my students take away from class that they have a, a better sense of what their strengths are because I think that we lead from our strengths. I also hope they come away with a better sense of their own values and finally of their assumptions about human nature, motivation and leadership. I hope to become a more strategic leader and I hope to set the right culture within my team and help the broader organization as well. I don't think that you get many opportunities in your life to really just stop your work, the pause in your family life and focus on your overall development. If anybody gets an opportunity to do something like this, I think that they should you know, really grab it because it's just a phenomenal transformational experience. The purpose of Harvard GMP is to create a leader who make a difference in the world. It brings the best in people. It pushes their boundary, pushes them to look at the world with a very, very different lens.